All right, and we are back with another one for you guys. But this time, we are slated up with the wide receiver out of Kaufman, Texas, coming in at 6'2", 200 pounds, Aljor Miles. How are you doing today? Sure, I'm doing great. How are you doing? I am uh, doing good. Uh, the wife finally had her baby. Uh, a little early, uh, but I came down with sinus infection, so I haven't been able to see the baby in like oh, three days. So I'm ready to get back to the hospital. <laughs> but... Yeah. um. Hey, appreciate you coming on the podcast. So just to kick things off, uh, starting out this question, we've been asking a lot of people, but for the fans and everybody watching this that do not know, uh, when did you start playing football and how did you know that this was something that you wanted to do at a high level? Well, um, I'm originally from California. I only moved to Texas like two years ago. So over in California, I was playing flag football for like 12 or 13 years. And then I moved out here to Texas in my freshman year. It was actually my first year in that. So I really started pad like two, two, two and a half years ago. Now, what's the biggest difference between football in California and Texas? Because uh, don't they do like seven on sevens out there in California? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like seven on seven. Um, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot more. Uh, it's about a lot better competition. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, <laughs> a lot more athletes out there, so that's fun. Um, now, what is one of the things that you love about football? Um, just, just is hard. I guess, man. I love doing hard stuff, you know, and football, it's a hard sport and it's fun. I love it. The challenge that it provides. Right. So obviously I think two, four, seven has you rated as a three star. Um, so obviously like your recruitment, uh, probably starting this year is really going to ramp up, especially as a lot of schools wrap up the 25 recruiting cycle, getting to 26. But what has this recruiting process been like for you so far, um, starting and really at the beginning of this process? Um, it's, it's been really exciting. Uh, you know, when I moved out here, I, I had a goal to, you know, get recruited and then go do one. And uh, I, I honestly wasn't expecting any offers that sophomore year, but, you know, came. So it's been, it's been super exciting, super, super fun. Yeah. Now you got the offer from Oklahoma and Emmett Jones. Uh, Emmett Jones is like a well known name down there uh, in the state of Texas. So uh, what does this offer from Oklahoma and Emmett Jones mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, it shows, you know, they believe in me and, you know, you know, they have a vision for me, and uh, I like that a lot. So so what does that relationship with Emma Jones look like? Because uh, I hear he's just a relationship builder. He's he's one of those yeah. guys that has strong ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we talk a lot. You know, when we talk, we have good conversations, you know. So, you know, it's, it's stuff outside of football, stuff with football. So it's really good. Yeah, now you recently took a visit to Sooners Under the Stars, uh, and right after that, you had some uh, future casts that were predicting you to end up in Oklahoma. So kind of tell everybody a little bit more about that visit, uh, what it was like to be around some of the other recruits, and just be around that environment that Norman provides. Yeah, um, well, you know, we got there, you know, Coach Coach Emmett Jones. We, I think we were like the first or second people there, and Coach Jones was like, they're waiting for us, waiting for me and my family, so. You know, that that, that kind of got my family on board. And then, um, yeah, they took us through meetings, and then we went we went to go practice and do a little bit of training. And uh, he gave me a lot of good coaching points during the, uh, during the training. And then uh, they had the com quarterback commit come out, and then I got to run some routes with him, and I liked him a lot. So, yeah, it's just a whole lot of good things about the visit, really. Yeah, now – uh, Oklahoma fans are just now really becoming familiar with Jaden uh, because he recently just committed. So, what were some of your initial thoughts and reactions to Jaden O'Neal? Uh, he 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 can throw it pretty well. <laughs> uh, first throw, it was it was really hard, so I had to you know kind of adjust to it. But yeah, I can tell he got some talent to him. Love to hear that. Love to hear that. So, uh, looking at uh, Oklahoma compared to some of the other schools in Texas, um, are there like any specific offers that you're like, just like, I, I, I just want to have this offer on my sheet? Or do you have like a dream school that like you're kind of waiting on? Um, not, not really. It's kind of just, you know, you know, whoever wants me, you know, wants me. And whoever wants me the most is going to get me. That's kind of really how it is right now. So, you know, I don't want to not prioritize over body any, any, I don't want to prioritize people over you know, certain schools. So I'm just kind of waiting and seeing. Love that. So, so far in your recruitment, what schools are pushing uh, the hardest for you? Um, Probably Oklahoma, SMU, uh, Pitts talked to me, Boston College talked to me a lot, Colorado State talked to me a lot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So what is one thing that you think sets you apart from other wide receivers um, on the recruiting trail? Um, probably, I, I would say my work ethic. I'm a really hard worker. Um, you know, I want to be the best no matter what, you know, no matter what it is, either it's football, you know, some other, some other activity, I always want to be the best. So, you know, if I, if I, if I'm around other people who are the best and I think, oh, you guys, some of the better receivers in, in college football. So, you know, if I'm around those guys and I see those guys working, I, I think I'll, I'll turn out pretty well too. Yeah. And they turn out some pretty good wide receivers in the NFL. Look at CD lamb. Just, uh, yeah. yeah, he's, he, I think, didn't he already just get paid? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of money. <laughs> yeah, a lot of money for a wide receiver. That was that, that shocking. You usually don't see wide receivers get that kind of money. Um, right. C.E. Lamb's deserving. He's really good. Oh, yeah. So uh, what is <laughs> – sorry about that. What has been one thing that you like about the recruiting process so far um, and one thing that you just don't like about the process? Um, One thing I like, um, I guess, you know, how how welcoming and nice most, most of the coaches are. And, you know, they kind of roll out the red carpet for you, you know. And then I guess one thing I don't like is kind of that, too, because I know when I actually get to the school, it's, it's not going to be the same. So I guess that's kind of something I don't like about it. But it is what it is. Now, you got to go to Sooners Under the Stars. I'm going to circle back around to that. Um, what kind of food did you guys have? That's what I'm curious to find out. Because yeah, usually was, for these events, they have some really good food. Yeah, it was, it was really good. I think it was, let's see, it was, we had some, uh, some like Hawaiian rolls or something like that. And then there was some some good like grilled chicken, some green beans, and then um, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese. I remember mac and cheese; that's my favorite. And then they have little desserts too. I know I had a few cookies. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I I know that the players sometimes they will grill out and stuff um, at the stadium. So uh, sometimes throughout the summer, you'll see them posted on their socials about what they're cooking up out there. So. Kind of getting into some fun questions here. On a Friday night before you're running out of the tunnel, you're sitting in the locker room. Um, what's on your playlist uh, getting you pumped up and ready to get, uh, go out there and play? Mm. Let's see. Last game, the last game we played, I think it was T Grizzly. First day out. That's my that's my go mode song, man. And then um, this one's been kind of a popular question that we've been asking a lot of people. Pineapples on pizza. Is it your go-to? Kind of one of those things you don't like. What's your take on it? I get it every time. Hawaiian. Ham and pe pineapples. So it sounds like you like Hawaiian food. Have you ever been to uh, Hawaiian bros or Mobetas? No, I've been to Mobetas. I've been to Mobetas, but not, not, not many other places than that. Well, if you come back to Norman again, you'll have to try out a Hawaiian bros. They got Hawaiian bros here in Oklahoma. And I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty fantastic. Yeah, if I got you, I got you. All right. Well, hey, thank you for coming on. Appreciate you uh, giving everybody an insight to your recruitment and what it's been like so far. Uh, where can everybody find you at on the social medias? Uh, my Twitter is just my name, A-L-J-O-U-R-M-I-L-E-S, and then the second. And then my, my Instagram is the same thing. And uh, 